Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Well. Today we are on Psalm 40, uh, the thanksgiving for deliverance and prayer for help. David says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the desolate pit out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. I waited patiently for the Lord. Well, David's in a fix and he knows he's in a fix. And uh, it feels like a muddy, boggy mire. Every time he takes a step forward, he just slips back. He's just deeper and deeper into a pit. Um, feels a little bit like that now at the moment, doesn't it? You know, we send the kids to school and then suddenly they're in isolation and they're coming back. We uh, make plans uh, to meet with folk. And then, of course, again, the rules keep changing. It's a bit like that Greek guy pushing that big ball up the hill and it keeps rolling back down again. It feels like we're in a slippy, muddy pit of which um, we're trying to find some sort of purchase, somewhere which we can get security within all of this. And David, well, his approach here is he waits patiently for the Lord. It's interesting, he's not in denial about the situation. He knows that evils have overcome him. His iniquities have caught up with him. Uh, he says that later in the psalm. Um, he's given voice, um, which no doubt would have been of anguish and crying out. But in his patience, this has been changed to a cry of thanksgiving and praise. He's not arguing for uh, some sort of revenge on his uh, aggressors or the situation which is going on. He's not bargaining with them in any way. But he's giving praise and he's giving thanks. And this has come out of a place of patience. So what is patience? It's interesting, the word in our English translation uh, it stems from the Latin word patois which actually means passion. Um, it means to bear or support, undergo or suffer. The old King James Version had um, Jesus suffering the children to come to him, which means to allow, to undergo, uh, to permit. And from that Latin word patois, from the understanding of the word passion in a Christian sense, we get words like patient, and patience, you know, patient like in a hospital, somebody who's ill who has to endure sickness. Um, but we have this idea that patience has the power of endurance and is unyielding. David is patient before the Lord. He endures, he undergoes, he enters into the suffering which is there. I guess that's our prayer for us today is that instead of maybe blaming the world or blaming the situation around us, is that we can actually find ourselves engaging with the mud and the mire and to be patiently waiting for the Lord within that, that he'd give us the strength to endure, to forbear, to be unyielding, and that he'd lift us out onto a rock, onto a firm place, somewhere where we can actually let our voices change to those of thanksgiving praise. Paul says in the book of Romans that we should actively engage with our faith so as to build hope and from there we can build endurance through our suffering and so our character and love will be expressed to all the world. So our prayer that uh, today that you'd find that firm place, that you'd find the rock, you'd find the place of thanksgiving. Amen.